Hello YouTube, this is Skidafrog and welcome back into our Etruscan campaign. We haven't played it in a few weeks or months, so yeah, welcome back. We'll do a little topo, uh, like yeah, there, if you just watched the previous part, you'll see that the graphics uh, kind of change a little bit, uh, as you can see. And uh, also we'll take, we'll do a little topo, so uh, friendly wise or trading wise. We are doing pretty good, we have plenty of friends, so it's not too bad. And also we have little uh, little enemies, so only the slaves, Grady and Brucey. So these guys will probably die soon, and so is the other guys. Anyway, in the last part we fought a little battle up here, and we were pretty much ready to continue, so we'll push over here to enforce that settlement that is currently under siege. So if they attack, well, we have some reinforcements coming from them. So in the next, and we still have, I think, two turns. If uh, my memory, my memory is right, yes, two turns. So yeah, on the next turn, we'll push them back, kill them, and we'll have another source of iron for our shields and weapons. Over here, well, we are in pretty good shape. Can we recruit something interesting? Uh, yes, we can. We can have the two-handed X-Men. So we'll try these guys. We'll dismantle those. Let's go into settlement so we can help with the public order a little bit. We will recruit them. There we go. It'll be pretty interesting to see. Okay, we are already recruiting some troops here. Uh, why is that? I don't remember. I don't think we're at war with anyone here. I guess it was to build a little garrison over here. So let's dismantle these guys. And we will recruit them like over here. We only have uh, Levy's commissaries, it's not too good. We'll wait a little bit, maybe you can recruit some here. Yeah, we can have some archers here, so we'll recruit some archers over here. And you know what? Never mind, let's just go there so that we can recruit. Actually, we'll have the public order over here. It was negative anyway, so we'll do this. Some archers and some cav. I guess we can go for Etruscan cavalry. Yeah, that sounds good. Over here! We will be set over here, we are all good. Other than that, we have a little fleet here. Um, it's pretty decent, actually. Uh, next turn, we'll have a full stack ready to go. So we'll need to see what we, we are go where we are going, because we are at fr kind of friendly with the Greeks. We are trading with them. And I guess the next push will be in Gaul, actually, because we don't really have trades with them. And meanwhile, we can cancel some trades or send some diplomats to try to uh, finish and... Listen, we could help... Oh, uh, wait, I will we say that? Uh, we can hope that Athens will give us uh, Epidemnos so that we can have a full province over here. Other than that... Oh, I, I see. We have an army here. We finish into our, I guess, new satrapy. I guess we can go there and... Can we recruit some more spears? Oh yeah, that would be good. Let's disband those guys. And I will have two spear um, warriors. Pretty cool. Okay, so over here we are good. We also have some uh, trophy here. Can we recruit some good stuff? Mm, not really. We'll just do the same. Let's fortify to increase a little bit our replenishment. We can also have some skills over here for our hero. So we'll go for. Well, Drill Sergeant seems to be a good idea. We have another agent that we can upgrade, and we'll do exactly the same. Other than that... Oh, there's a spy up here. What are you doing? Okay, we're keeping an eye, I guess, on that settlement. I guess we wanted that source of iron, but... Why have that one when we can have that one right here? So, let's on this turn. And I'm guessing that it should be alright. So, kind of sorry for the long intro, it's just I haven't played it in a while, so I felt like it was necessary to do a little um, longer intro to explain a bit. So, we have an opportunity to go at war with Athens, so I guess we'll do that. Hopefully it won't destroy our... Um, our political uh, steadiness, I don't know how to say it, as uh, you know, if we are reliable or not. So, Loria is going to burn, <laughs> as I can see. 
As all the gods look down on us, they too must wonder why we... I guess no. There's no interest in that. So maybe we'll go for the greets after all. Can you run faster? No, you can't. We'll just wait then. Alright. Let's go take a look. Alright. Let's see if we... Okay, we're steadfast, so that's good. Okay, it's actually a not-so-big army. Not too bad. And our garrison is not the best, but not the worst. So it's pretty good. Over here, what's the garrison? So minus the mob, it's about 8 troops and 20 with the fleet. So we should be able to defend it. We're still, uh, yeah, I just Ready wanted to be orders. sure that we were in the settlement. So, well let's make a move. Then. Can we go like... Yeah, it's pretty far away. We lose most of our movement Advance. range trying to get That's to reinforce. To I guess we will auto-resolve that one. Just because I didn't want to start with that weak army. That's what it's done for the money. Alright. Is it a tradition? Nope. Oh, we can have uh, more authority. Sure, sure, sure. We'll take it. Uh, let's take a look. Maybe we can have something interesting. I guess we'll go for the movement. Tactician trait, it is. We'll just wait over here and we'll replenish over there. We can recruit a few troops. We could have some Etruscan Oplites. Why not? It would be good to have some good spears. That army over here, it's re it is ready to go. So we can actually go there and into the settlement. There we go. It will probably try to run up here. And uh, we will counter that by moving that army. Let's recruit more archers. Because they're cheap. And some swords. Actually, we have some uh, two handed X Men, so I feel like we could have a more reliable front line if we can. I'm not sure which one is the best. I guess we go for the short swords. They're pretty cool. Let's go for like four of them. That should do the trick. Okay, they are doing their things here. And over here, we are in pretty good shape. I'm kind of tempted to push immediately, but I guess we'll wait over here. And uh, I think it is pretty much uh, it for this turn. We'll go back here. Or Spy actually can go um, here and take a look in, at the capital. Over here, can we recruit better troops? Not really. Let's we'll start to move over here. There's nothing better either over here. And we'll just push up here to enforce our capital. Oh. I think we have like no choice to attack. But I'm not sure. Points remaining one. I'll take my guess, I guess. Yeah, we'll just try. Hopefully we won't lose this element. Otherwise we'll just take it back. It's a time when warriors must a bit too late for that. And you want to trade. Surely benefit if we agree to open trade from this day on. Since we are mostly well, at peace and trading with Iberia, I don't see any trouble doing it. I guess I could have asked maybe for some money, but it will be okay. It's still extra income. Alright, so we lost a trade partner. I guess it disappeared or died. Render imminent. There we go. So, we were lucky and we still have a 
A little bit of time. We're not reinforcing though. Okay, so we need to go that way. All the way around. A little loop. Oh, and we lost that settlement, so that's too bad. It's good for our torpedo. Um, oh, the garrison can attack. Oh well. But that's sweet. Let's go there, and next, next turn we'll just push into um, Epidemnos. We managed to push back the resistance, and I guess the faction is dead? Well, I guess so. I don't see... I'll just take a little look to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, they disappeared, so... I guess at this point we can declare war on them, and hopefully our SOTP will be able to take them. Or we can send some help, you know. Um, I guess we can do a little raid. Yeah. Like, we'll merge these guys together. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Alright. So we'll trade some Avier troops. Or some, you know, regular troops. There we go, something like that. We do have something good over here that we can trade. Just looking to maybe replace that uh, Sochi Aesthetic. We'll just do something like that. And we'll give it so that we can have a full army. For the cavalry, it's not too bad actually. It should be good. For here, you can come here and replenish. What's left? And the short sword maybe can go away. And we can have like two units that would have a good charge. All right, these guys can push. Slowly move forward. We won't go in force much just to be a bit safer. Now around the ear. I guess we'll push into into Greece. Oh, actually, we can finish them quickly, so we'll do that. I guess we'll fight just to have a little skirmish. They have some Torax Swordsmen, interesting. So it's not absolute garbage, at least. So maybe the next army that we will go come across will be better. Alright, so for this battle, we have the cavalry on our left flank. Our main line is composed from the Stolzi Extraordinary. And they are dev on their flanks, like a bit forward, like we can see over here. The Sochi Aesthetic, so that they can. They will. They are already like in the preformed attacking test pseudo, so that they can receive the initial volleys from the Slingers. And they are followed by the Archers, and since the cavalry were on that flank, I bring the Skirmishers here to hunt them down. We are fighting in the rain also. We're not, it's like a pretty, a pretty light rain, but it's still uh, rainy. I chose the rain because, why not? I felt like the weather was pretty cool right now. And the general is a bit uh, behind, but on the right flank. Let's rotate a little bit so that we can face the, the formation. And we are also uphill, so uh, yeah, they are not in a good position. Right over the right. Italian noble infantry. Let's move a bit. Something like that. Thorax wisemen are a bit here and a bit there. Okay, there's more troops here. They're a bit uh, clearer now. Let's farm up into the attacking Testudo, we are close enough. And it was pretty quick to farm up, so... Good for us. We'll move a bit forwards though, uh, on that flank. Now everyone except them, let's move forwards. Alright, they are attacking over here, so let's farm up the other attacking Testudos. And we'll start moving also uh, slowly. We await your 
Uh, skirmisher is gonna move a bit forwards, but on that flank, since the Tyrandid Cav is over here, I just want to get rid of them before uh, going for the skirmishers. Let's group up these guys and give them a two attack order. So that we, that we can have the nice. Um, is it a good charge bonus? I don't even know. Wait. Oh, 19 is not too bad. Not excellent though. We'll perform a little bit over here. I missed up the, those guys. Let's rotate over here and support our cavalry. Both of them can actually go away. We don't want to have excessive uh, losses on a, from the friendly fire. That's fine. Our generals on the attack apparently, so... Yeah, let's pull back a little bit. Archer is guard mode and if we can target the seniors will do. Except those guys can actually focus the Gorgos one, since they are way better. These commissioners can, or uh, I should say infantry should push these guys. Cavalry, let's pull back a little bit, so that the skirmishers can reach the Tormented Cav. Over here, they are stuck in combat. Poor fellows. And over here, we have still a few villains, so it's good, we'll just wait and throw them into their flanks. Alright, skirmishers, let's rotate and go for the Tormented Cav. Nicely done. We'll just wait a little bit. Okay, alright. We can move the cab over here and charge into the Thorax Swordsman. Infantry, let's re let's pull back. We'll bring them all the way up here. Okay, over here it's not too bad. We'll start to move archers a little bit over here. Actually, if we can target the general, we'll do so. We can get out of the Destrudo formation and move and support our infantry over here. Alright, let's counter charge. At least we are almost at the same level, so we won't have the, the penalty on the charge. We have some lenses over here. So maybe we need to protect a little bit of our skirmishers. Just maybe. Actually, our infantry can go for the general. Alright, we'll also bring these guys, but we'll we won't throw some pedums into our own cavalry. Your shows can come in and throw some pedums or javelins in their flanks. Over here, these guys are a little bit overwhelmed. All of our javelins are thrown over here. Same over here. Over here, let's rotate a little bit. And these guys will go over here. You guy, you can come here. This guy can. These guys will stop. Don't want too much from the fire. All right, so they can flank with the arrows from that front. And over here, we can close the gap on them. Our javelin men are having a pretty cool moment right now. We'll bring them point blank and then we'll retreat all with those guys. The mid general is dead. Our own general can come back, I guess. It's safe. And maybe inspire some guys. But they will probably all break uh, all together. They're in a uh, pretty bad shape at this moment. Yeah, it's pretty messy. And I think they already uh, started to shatter. Yeah. We'll just wait a little bit to kill uh, a max of them. We'll Oops, that's my bad. Well, anyway, they all died. So they were pretty much overwhelmed. Our losses are minimal and their losses are maximal. So that's perfect. Alright, we will release them for the money. Alright, it bugged a little bit. It's fine. Let's go up here a little a tiny, a tiny bit. Next turn we should be good to push. And I just thought about something. We can send a diplomat. Maybe. Like you. Let's give you a promotion, just to be safe. 
like it will change anything. I don't know. We'll send them to Cartage. Let's send them. And hopefully we can have either that Salaman or that Salaman. Syracuse will be very good. And we have like a wonder. Which give us a 5% bonus on armor, I think. Over here we can go for the Temple of Jupiter, I guess. Yeah, we have the money, so why not? Let's move everyone. We hunger for battle. Over here you're still doing your things. I think we are ready for to end this turn. Just want to be sure. We can recruit more, I guess. Actually, we can start to move back. Because the threat is pretty under control on the east front. Let's get a few more of you. So we will just recruit. Yeah, okay. So we'll recruit a few archers. Some of these guys. And I think it will be pretty much it. The next turn we'll just go a bit down south and recruit uh, some EVR infantry. So we can upgrade the uh, settlement over here. So we'll go for... We don't have a lot of food, so we'll just build another farm. And over here... Can we convert into better farming? Not really. So we'll just have to wait. We can improve our hero over here to the sergeant. Same over here. There we go. The rest of them. The fleet is in uh, pretty good shape. Yes, we'll just move a little bit. We'll go over there. Do we have a good... Uh, yeah, we have a good port over here. Let's move a bit faster. So next turn, maybe with the fleet we'll be able to take Apollonia and we'll be able to push even further. Do we have a treaty with Sparta? I am here we to don't, listen. so we'll, we'll stall, uh, stall, uh, steamroll them on the way with that end. And Greece will be pretty much ours. So let's end this turn and we'll see uh, how it plays out. Also our trade incomes with every nation is not so good because I guess we are selling every goods that we have, so so by earning more more trades trade goods <laughs> like uh, the wine over here this is a time to be good for just proud men uh, what do you to want? unite in strength that is nah. why we don't want too much treaties with them can you not see I can't see anything and you I propose a simple treaty with don't want some treaties but nah So they're still being a bit annoying with their, their era. Maybe I, we should take care of them. Oh, here they are. And some slaves down there. Excellent. Who's liberated? Alright, I don't really care about that. But I care. However, it's over here. Well, I guess we'll go up here. Up there. We have, oh, we have a pretty decent garrison also, very strong, so yeah, let's just be there, and we can actually recruit some heavy troops, so it will be um, up to taste, I guess. Yup, that seems good. Like, three of you and one cav, so three cav and five spears, sounds good. Over here we can continue our march. Alright, so we have to fight some guys. Ready for battle. I'm pretty I, I feel good with uh, our choices. I have no idea how many seniors they have. I guess we'll bring them just in case. Actually, no. I feel confident. Let's go. And we are joined by our allies. Excellent. Let's see. 
Okay, it's not too bad. I was afraid about the, the amount of seniors that we'll have, we'll have to fight. Not too bad. Only two units of swords. Pretty decent. I guess uh, we'll crush them, so let's go. Alright, so this is our formation for that battle. Enemy a big thin formation. I feel pretty confident since most of their troops are Levy Freeman. And also I spread large to try to occupy um, the most terrain, as if I can say that. Actually I could have spread them even a little bit, I think. But yeah. Somehow they're not really moving. Okay, they were stuck like in the woods, I don't know. And the flanks, we uh, split our cavalry. And they are supported by some skirmishers. Archers are spread evenly behind our lines, mostly from there to there, not too, um, too large. And we have uh, also uh, the noble, noble cavalry that will they can move and support flank if it's necessary, basically. So let's move. And I chose to fight uh, into uh, a dry weather since most of their troops are uh, are light infantry, so that we will be penalized by fighting into the rain since uh, we are heavier. Also, I put the short the short swords up front since they have a, a bit of a better charge at 20 instead of 90. And uh, we can also see how they will perform. And the auxiliary, so yeah. Looking good. We'll just wait a little bit. We'll start to move slowly over here. If we can take care of that cavalry early on, it will be very good. But I think we'll just charge in. We'll try to get the cavalry unit. And the uh, levies will just go there because there's no way that we can follow. Now over here, we'll start to move, but rotate. Or, so let's say we adjust a little bit our formation, since most of their infantry, infantry are there. And I think we'll try to be aggressive if something, because we don't want to, them to spread too large and envelop us. We really need to occupy uh, the space. So actually, we can move also the cavalry over here. Just try to arrest them, if I can say so. And force them to move up. And readjust. I think we'll be good to engage the cavalry now. They are pretty stuck. If we can just bait them a little bit, it will be perfect. We can. Hopefully they will charge that unit, because I don't want to lose too many of them. Okay, I was afraid that they will throw some pelons at us. So... Yeah, that will be devastating for the cavalry. Now, all the infantry group together, and just charge. Attack whatever you can find. Except you guys will go a bit, a bit there, you guys there. Cavalry unit pull back. Commissioners go protect the archers. Over here we'll readjust, kill that unit and just flank. Our cavalry is hunting them down. They are shaken, understood. We can understand that. Now cavalry, you can finally start to move for the slingers. We'll drill some pillums or some javelins there. Good, 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 good. Also we'll toggle the guard mode for every... skirmishers. Archers can start already to flank. Oh, I forgot about those guys. Let's go there. Let's try to do something. Cavalry can pull back over here. Alright. The shark and the cavalry can go around and go for that little blob up there. It's looking pretty juicy and tasty for our shark cavalry. So let's go in. And over there. Let's bring them back. Oops, I missed one. What of you? Alright, maybe we can actually uh, shut up them. Actually, if we can focus the Celtic Warriors, that will be fantastic. And the X Warriors also, since we have uh, EV armor. And usually, X Men are very strong against, uh, against armor. They have something like 16 armor penetration. 
instead of like uh, five or four for a sword infantry. All right, the riders can go for that unit. All right, they stop chasing us. Let's turn around and charge at them again. Over here, that unit is doing very good. I think we will also break the formation so that we can spread around and have more units uh, into uh, the fight. We can see over here that we have a big opening, so let's take advantage of that. Yeah. And I think we have an angle on the general unit, so this is even better. We'll move up both forwards with the general. Alright, check cap can go there. I forgot about the cavalry over there. We can push over here. We'll go, I guess, for that unit of Freeman. I'm sure is let's move. Maybe both of the cavalry units will be able to clear up the TV Freeman. It will be very good. Good news is that they didn't throw their volley. Fantastic, just in time. Let's go back and help here. Cavalry units, let's disengage because the Freeman overall are pretty good against uh, cavalry. Oh no, let's turn around, let's turn around. We can go for that huge UC unit. Yes, please, yes, please. Excellent. Now we need to be careful over here because the general is going around, is coming around. Alright, infantry go for the range. Cavalry, let's pull back. We don't want to get them killed. I forgot about you. Let's get out of it. Let's get out, let's get out. Let's help around here. Let me show you, let's move. We'll go, I guess, for the general units. We'll go around here. Over here, we can chase down the cav... the... <laughs> the skirmishers. I got distracted a little bit from that situation. Okay, that's not too good. Uh, where is he? Let's re inspire a little bit. Excellent. Now we can pull back. Excellent, they are in position. Actually, I forgot that we were not in formation. So we will we'll activate it so that the guys will come back in formation around here. And we'll throw some javelins at point blank at the general unit. And uh, yeah, the shield wall won't help very, good, very well in that situation. I guess some of them will die. Well, maybe they didn't die, but definitely did it help. So, our cavalry is doing pretty good over here. We need to take care of that one, so if we don't want to lose it. You can go around here and we'll bring some infantry to help. And we'll chase instead uh, these guys. If we can charge a little bit the Navy's the Navy Freeman, that will be fantastic. Over here we'll go in flying wedge. Just help a little bit. Uh, okay, we didn't uh, receive the volley. Good, good, good. These guys can help also. We'll break now the formation. We'll go for these over here, let's rotate a little bit. Archers are... okay, Levy's can go away. Over here we can attack. Attack here and attack there. Sorry, I need to cop. <laughs> um. Alright, our ladies still have a few ammunition, so let's pull back around here. We have only 50 of them, we need to take better care of them. However, the general unit is not in a good shape. So maybe we can throw some javelins at them. Something like that. We'll bite them. Alright, excellent. Gonna run again. 
throw valise again. Very good. But you are dying. That was a good one. Oh, actually. Still have a few. And this is pretty much it, so let's chase them down anyway they are. They broke. Alright. That was pretty satisfying to play. Nice to play as a time of our powered faction, just a little bit. Over here they should break soon. Alright, let's bring the general. Still have a few ammunition, so why not fire at them at point blank? Inspire our own unit. And I totally forgot about the archers. Let's stop. And actually, they break. Let's continue a little bit just to get a bit more. Alright. I guess. Italian noble cavalry. Go a bit forward. It should be good. So, our losses are about 700, and their losses are about. 4700. We will release them for the money. Ready for further orders. We cannot follow this order. And our ally should be able to take that territory and then we he will have um, a full province. Ready for so I guess we can just Yes, that seems to be good, because eventually we'll have even more armor and melee defense. Which seems unnecessary, but yeah, why not? Now, we'll target that settlement, just to be sure that they won't be stupid and try to help as much as we can. We'll attack, break siege, because we couldn't leave. Now we should be free. And let's pull back. We'll go back and heal over here. That army is in that it's a pretty good shape. We'll move over here and we'll just bring that one over here and go or actually we'll, we'll make them a little surprise. Let's go here and ambush. We'll move a bit farther. Yes we can. So we'll do. Yes, a surprise in the indeed. Um Okay. Medium tier Composition and uh, high tier. They will see. Um, over here, where fleet should be. Oh, okay, it's not good though. Not good enough. Not yet, anyway. I guess we can go for. We can go for the slave army. Who's the best army? So we'll go after them with them. Advance. We'll take a little look at what they have. Okay, so it's Sidlerian levies, mostly. Nothing to be afraid of. Ready for battle. Go we there, and for battle. well, we will occupy. A free settlement is always nice to have. We will repair some stuff. Except that, we will convert it into um, a nice trading port at some point. And over here, maybe you can convert. So they can recruit a little bit. And it's actually, actually a good position. Or no, no, no. Let's just destroy all of this. Wait. To destroy. Excellent. So that we can have uh, some bit mine and stuff like that. Oh, uh, an old industrial province. It should be uh, pretty good for us. And over here. I guess we can finish the slaves. Alright, we will also resolve that. Let's be aggressive. Alright. Won't be enough though. Alright. So 
they are back. Well, actually, we killed them. We didn't enslave them, which could have been, uh, you know, a good thing to do since they were slave anyway. And for our economy, but Oblek Auto is not fantastic over here, so yeah, let's just get rid of them. Now I have no idea what is the composition over here. Can we recruit an agent? Not really, no. Where's the other one? How may I okay, it's here. So instead, let's go there and have a nice little look. Alright. Okay, some missionary open days. That's good. So it's nothing fantastic. We'll be able to crush them on the next turn. And actually, we have the full province now. So this is good. Let's take a quick look at... Okay, everyone moved. Alright, some over here. The fleet will stay there. And we have a nice garrison to protect it, so it will be fine. So let's end this turn right now. And since this campaign is in the legendary difficulty, it will be the autosave that will um, save the, the end of that part. So I'll thank you all for watching. I thought they would attack. Oh, okay, they will attack. So now this will be the save of the end of this campaign. Uh, this part of the campaign. No, the campaign isn't over. So I'll thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.